Hey guys, it's Pine Cone. Um, nobody's only like one or two views on my other video. I don't know what the deal is, but nobody gave me any suggestions whether I should keep or sell the Porsche 911. Well, I do have good news. I decided to keep my 2002 996 Porsche 911. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the flywheel, which just came in today. I don't have time to do it, obviously, tonight, but up close look of a dual flywheel for the 996. It is uh, compatible with all model years from the 996 to the early model 997 ones. So, in case y'all y'all wondering, this is the uh, this is the uh, OE part that uh, Porsche uses. Um, I got it for well, don't say on here, but I think I paid about four hundred and twenty-three dollars. I think. And I got it at PartsGeek.com. They got really good prices. So uh, if you need some Porsche parts, uh, it sure beats uh, Pelican Parts, which wanted to sell. Um, I wanted to sell it to me for uh, 700. eBay could only come down to about 480. And I think uh, Amazon, after tax and shipping, was uh, about 450. So um, by far, PartsGeeks.com. Or geek parts, whatever it was, you'll you'll see it in the video. Was a good price for it. Um, whenever I get time, I'm hoping to have this bad boy running again, and um, I'm also going to be dropping the oil pan, scraping it, um, doing oil and everything to make sure there's no metal shavings in it. Make sure and um, make sure that the oil pump ain't clogged up. Uh, let's check to see if the oil pump is good or not, um, because I do lose oil pressure after about 20 minutes of driving when it heats up. So. That's going to be my next thing. I'm going to do all that as, as well as change the coal packs and the spark plugs. So it may be a while before I get it up and running, but that is what's in the works for my 2002 911. This is Pinecone, and I'll see y'all out. Peace.